let's say three to four years ago, my daughter Ashley, she's 28 now, we noticed a different change in her behavior, her attitude, um, she, things were going on and we was like, it, it didn't connect, the dots didn't connect. We come to find out that it's schizophrenia that she has. It's a very hard to watch, especially a loved one go through it. And when they don't understand that they have a problem, that's even harder. Um, so at that time, she still had an eight, she had an eight, seven year old daughter, um, which I have partial custody of her right now. And then now she has an eight, nine month old that I have in my home now. I struggled with trying to figure out whether I was gonna or not. You know, I kicked it around like, oh, my kids are grown. Like I have four grown kids. They're gone and out the house. Uh, well, that's not true. I ended. I have a four-year-old, <laughs> also. But for the most part, my my other kids are all grown. I was already starting over with the four-year-old. And that, then I have the eight-year-old. Now another one. So it's three in the home, under ten. And I'm like, whoa! Can I pull this off? Because it's hard work. It's hard work. Whether you have a a teenager, whether you have you know a baby like me. It's hard work, whatever way you do it. You got homework, you got schoolwork, learning virtually. That's a, that's a whole nother thing, learning virtually. I mean, you got bottles, you got pampers. Yeah, I mean, it could be 10 o'clock at night. You're like, oh, I forgot the medicine. You got to get all the kids back together, run back out to the store, get the medicine. So I, I share this award with everyone. And then I was when you guys come, I was like, yes. Listen, I, get, I got a little competitive side to me because <laughs> it is hard work. And sometimes I don't think about all the work that I do. Sometimes I downplay what I do and I'll pass the, the baton to someone else. Like, you take the spotlight. But for this one, I think I'm going to take it. I worked hard. <laughs> I worked hard. And then I look at it now, I'm nine months into this, like almost a year. I'm like, yes. On the weekends, it's fun time. So we run all week because I get them up at six o'clock in the morning, you know, for school. And, and daycare. We run all week, we do shopping, laundry, whatever we have to do for the house groceries. But on the weekend, it's fun time. If it's fun plex, is it urban air, if it's sky zone, that's, that's their two days to do whatever they choose to. And baby and all, he'd be an stroller just looking to. He knows what he wants, even at nine months. He's like, mm, like, give me that. Um, he went from crawling two days to now he's trying to walk. Like, I think he's gonna pass the crawling stage. He wants to walk around and he laughs all day long. Like the daycare, they never heard him cry maybe once or twice. They all wake up laughing. Oh, I'll tickle them in the morning like, get up, grandma's here. Or they start laughing or, you know, all of them get up. I don't have any grumpy, so it's not hard getting my kids up. I'm like, all right, what you gonna do? You want, I'm gonna airplane you to the bathroom. What you gonna do? And that kind of gets the four-year-old going. I do the airplane. So, and they're not the same as the four that I had. These, this is a whole different group of kids. The learning technique is different. What worked for them is not working for this group here because it's totally different. You got COVID into play. You got things you can do, things you can do. So this whole raising kids now is it, it, it's a new way for all of us, really. Because <laughs> like I said, I got the four oldest one. I'm like, none of them have that personality that this group of kids have. It's a totally different group that I'm um, with. And it's funny because I've been at my job 21 years and I've also been in this apartment 21 years. So it, it is two generations. <laughs> like if I can pull this off, you can do it. <laughs> Every, I hear that all the time. Like I said, it's just my energy. My mom was the same way. She was she was the party planner. She, her family, she was always centered around family. I watched it growing up I, more than I thought now that I get older and I sit back and I think about it. I'm like, I used to sit and watch her. Yeah, that was her joy having her family around. Like my oldest brother looks at me, he's like, God, you act like mom or you look like mom. You got her energy and you know, you're so friendly. You could put you in a party. You're going to talk to everybody in the room <laughs> and make everybody feel welcome and have fun. That's just me. You know, so I guess I got the legacy. <laughs> I think my granddaughter's gonna pick up after me. Cause we could be going to a grocery store and she'll see somebody. She's like, makeup looks nice. Where do you get that from? You get that from me. It's a journey. And my goal is, like I said, I wanna keep the family unit together. 